Hello everyone, my name is Tor and welcome or welcome back to Anthropology. All right, thank you for joining me in today's video. If this is your first time, welcome. I hope you enjoy your stay. On this channel, I talk all about things fashion related, luxury shopping, handbag purchases, taking an anthropological lens to things happening in the fashion industry, as well as mindful consumption. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, please consider subscribing, like this video, and comment anything that resonates down below. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I hope you enjoy your stay. Thank you for joining me in another video. Today's one, it's a little bit different in the sense that I was posed a question um, from one of you about safety and luxury. Now, a lot of other creators have done their take on this, and obviously personal safety is something that is individual. It will change with each person. But I just wanted to give my thoughts on safety and luxury shopping. Do I ever feel unsafe when I either am shopping, holding my bags, whatever it may be? So if you want to hear my thoughts on that, keep watching. So this is just gonna be pretty rambly, pretty chatty, but I have been purchasing luxury goods, I'm gonna say since, really since 2017. And it started off small, you know, a card holder, a belt, worked my way up to some ready to wear and bags. Now I have a decently, you know, sized collection, which I do wear often, but I definitely feel safer in my non-designer things. So I live in Vancouver. Vancouver's not the largest city in the world, but it is a decently large like metro city. And there is a notorious situation around um, homelessness as well as drug addiction. There are certain areas of the city that I definitely will not go into with luxury goods just for fear of being robbed. So there are some cases where actually I will not wear designer goods if I know I'm going somewhere. So there are times where I feel unsafe wearing really expensive things. Sometimes on public transit, I really didn't like wearing a lot of my like really expensive bags like my Celine Nano or like my Miu Miu bag. Now that we have a car, I definitely feel safer and more comfortable going out with them just because I know I'm going to be in, in a space that's like safe going to and from an area. I'm not going to be really exposed out you know, in the open. Also, on at the same time, I don't necessarily feel unsafe if I'm going to like certain places. So it really depends, I think, for me on the location. The example used from um, one of the subscribers, Karen, hello if you're watching, was that she was watching one another YouTuber and one of their viewers had submitted a story saying they had done some shopping at Louis Vuitton. They were then on their way back to their car and they were being followed by someone. Hey everyone, so my footage cut out for some reason, but basically they were being followed home. They had purchased $5,000 worth of goods and then they had it stolen from their car and obviously they had to also replace the car window. So, you know, it just goes to show you can't be ever like too safe, especially at the mall. Um, and I'm just gonna get into some advice that one of my neighbors actually gave me. Actually, one of my neighbors, we were talking about Christmas shopping for some reason, even though it was in like May. But basically she was like, yeah, when you go to the mall, park somewhere, when you return with bags, leave and go to a different area of the parking lot, just in case people are watching you. And I had never considered that before. You know, I'm just like our first car, not really big on driving, don't even really have my license yet. But basically, like, I never, I never thought about safety in that way or being, like, targeted and being targeted for things that I had purchased or shopping. And, you know, knock on wood, I've been very, like, lucky that I've never been, you know, jumped or mugged or anything like that. But, you know, there's, like, a lot of cases where people have. And I wonder if that's maybe played into the types of things that I purchase. So... If you're familiar with my collection, you'll know that it's not very logo heavy. It's not like big LV, you know, Chanel, Gucci, whatever. It's fairly subdued. And my collection is more along the lines of if you know, you know type luxury. So like the Ava bag that just looks like, you know, a crescent moon bag, 
the, you know, Celine top handle, not, I don't think criminals really know Celine. I don't know, I'm not speaking for all criminals, but like people that are gonna do bad things, I don't think they're gonna be coming after me for Celine bags. You know, knock on wood. But I feel like if you're, you know, in that mindset where you're going to attack someone else for something that they own, you're going to want to either resell it or use it for yourself. So a lot of that stuff, I think, comes back to like the mainstream luxury, like LV, like Gucci, like Chanel. Like those are the things that I think most people know, especially when you're first getting into fashion, like you don't really start with Celine, you more so start with like LV or Gucci, if you know what I mean. So I feel like maybe since I have less of that in my collection, I feel like I am less showy or that less people will recognize the things that I'm carrying. Also when traveling, so I don't travel with any of my bags really ever. One, because I don't like packing them, like I don't like squish them, but also I really try to be very subdued when I leave the country. So like my Ramoa is just simple black of just like, if you don't know Ramoa as a brand, this luggage means nothing to you. Also my Prada tote that I carry is just black and I can flip it around and there's no logo. So I really try to like be under the radar when I travel and just sort of, I know, if you know, you know, and I really feel like that is my vibe. But yes, all of this to say, in some cases, I do feel unsafe carrying luxury goods. And as I've become more mindful in my consumption, moved more towards contemporary brands, or since I started working at Lululemon, now I purchase a lot more of that type of clothing, very like more less branded or smaller branding or more like at leisure. And I definitely feel more comfortable wearing those types of things out just because I don't feel like I'm gonna be targeted or like I'm putting on a show for other people. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you feel unsafe when carrying luxury goods. Let me know if, you know, it makes no difference to you if you feel the same when you wear H&M, like either way, if something's gonna happen, it's gonna happen regardless of what you're wearing. Let me know if you have had a situation where you felt that you know, luxury wasn't for you or that you didn't want to wear a bag or whatever it may be. That's my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please consider subscribing if you're not already. Please like this video, comment, turn on the bell if you want to be notified when I post, which is on Mondays and Thursdays. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Hope to see y'all next time. Bye guys.